All right, we're gonna start this video off with one of the coolest finds I have found at the bins. Not because it's worth tons and tons of money, but just wait and see. So stay tuned and we will talk about this just in a little bit. All right, so now we are gonna dig into a bag full of goodies that I purchased at the Goodwill bins. I'm gonna pop up screen shares of how I listed everything. I'm also gonna put some education mixed in with some screen sharing. So stay tuned for that. Let me know how you like this format. I'm doing it this way because I lost all my footage from the day I was actually at the bins digging, so I apologize for that, but we're going to make this work. Thanks for watching. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, so let's look at this Goodwill Benz haul. We're gonna make the best of this here. So there was a vintage game and I am gonna have to try to figure out what that game is. I was planning on using the footage from the video where I had a picture of the box, but since I lost all my footage, I am gonna have to use Google Lens and hope that I can figure out what this is. Uh, this is just a piece. Um, I also was able to find these pieces that go with it as well. It is a vintage, I believe a Milton Bradley game and um, the comps were really good on it as a whole, but the item was incomplete. Okay, so this uh, back off buzzard game, again, I pulled this out of the bin and it was incomplete. So I decided I was gonna try and part it out. I will pop up the screen shares of how I listed everything. Um, this is a sold. This is the whole game, new and sealed, sold for $49.99. I would have listed that probably at over, over $100 with best offer if it was new and sealed. I think they undersold it on an auction. Um, this one, replacement parts, $19.99. Here's one that is pre-owned that sold for $69. Missing pieces, $25.99. Nobody's really parting them out. And some people just need replacement pieces. Um, over here, these are the active listings. And you can see here, it's an incomplete game. This person has everything for $28.82. I personally would have parted it out more than that. I think that, you know, that's almost the complete game without the board. Um, here is my listing. I have mine, uh, this bird thing, a buzzard listed at 1540 plus shipping. And then this is my listing also. I've got the four uh, pawn pieces listed for 1190 plus shipping. So those are the items that you are going to see in my video. These are other people's listings that are currently listed. So I don't see any other buzzards. So that is good. This person has it. Um, they have uh, replacement parts. And what you do is you click right here and they've got the buzzard listed for $9.75. So they're a little bit cheaper than me. But as you can see on the main page, the only thing you see, it's not going to let me go back. Right here, the only see, thing you see is the pawn on the front. So I have mixed feelings about these. Uh, listings where they uh, sell the pieces like this. I just, I don't know. I mean, they haven't even sold anything yet. I think it's easier if uh, maybe, let's see. I mean, I see why they do it because then if they find another one, they can just go in and add the quantity, which is smart. But, um, and it's one listing that they're paying for instead of paying for a bunch. I do believe that's how that works. Let me know in the comments what you think. I have brawls listed like this and I prefer the to have them individually listed. I think it's kind of confusing, but I've just never gone back in and made those edits. Okay, here's the next thing I found that is super exciting are these vintage rabbit's feet, <laughs> a vintage rabbit's foot. And I'll probably, I thought about selling these separately when I was at the bins, I took off the chain to get it, it was attached to something else and I lost one of the chains. So I have them on the same chain, but it may be in this bag hiding a great one. Lucky rabbit's foot. If you don't know, these are a great bolo item. Are they huge money? No, but they sell. Um, these are vintage and they will say Lucky Charm USA around the brass part of the, the keychain. I found two of these the same day. I was super excited when I saw them. I knew that they were a bolo item and here is mine. It just sold for $19.99. 
The red one that I had listed has not sold yet. I'm going to relist that probably at a buy it now. But uh, mine did sell on the higher end. It's teal and it's a smaller one. So I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But just going to show you guys some of the sold listings here. And definitely something to be on the lookout for. You can usually pick them up pretty cheap. I picked them up at the bins, so they were really cheap by weight. All right, so this, and I'm gonna pop up screen shares of how I have everything listed. So we're still gonna keep this educational. These, I believe, are squinkies. And this is um, a little squinkies machine. They're all falling out right now. So I don't know if it's uh, broken or if it's just open right now. I may sell these individually or I may sell it with the machine. I'm going to look into that, but just I'll be popping up a screenshot for you guys. All right. These magnetic numbers. I did really well with a set that came out of a play set that were marked Fisher Price. I'm not sure. I'm trying to see here if these are marked, but if they are marked, I will try to figure out what they go to. If not, I'm just going to try to lot them up and sell them individually. This one looks like it's been chewed on. We'll see. That may be not a great item. Not sure. Now this is super, super cool. And I am so sorry, you guys, that I lost this footage because finding this stuff is so much fun to watch. This is Boy Scouts. I do need to look these items up. It looks like there's a scarf, two scarf things here, and then some individual pins. I will more than likely part these out, but if they don't uh, comp out very good individually, I may list them as a lot. Not sure on that. And it looks like there's a scarf in there as well. That was just in the bag as seen. The next thing we're going to talk about is Boy Scouts items. Oh my goodness. Um, these definitely range from bread and butter to big money. I wanted to show you some of these recent um, sales. These are really um, rare and hard to find patches. Not all of them go for crazy money like this, but check these sales out. These top three, just, just incredible. Um, definitely Boy Scout stuff is a good thing to be on the lookout for. As you're going to see the, the lot that I picked up, not that great, but you know, my cost of goods was probably about a buck or less for all of the items, but definitely be on the lookout for Boy Scout items. And even vintage Girl Scout items as well. So I'm just kind of scrolling through here. I don't know why um, there's a bicycle there. But anyway, all right. Uh, the last one. All right. I did pick up these vintage uh, pantyhose. So by weight, it's $1.79 a pound at the bins for me. So these, oh geez, I'm probably guessing 50 cents or less for these. And I figured why not? Some pantyhose do pretty good. Um, another day I was there, I picked up a whole bunch as well. So I may, um, try to lot them if they don't sell well individually. Um, I've told you guys before, I always pick up these stickers. I will put them in small lots, but by weight, they just weigh hardly anything. I got this bottle here, Love Bella. I have not looked it up, but a lot of times people lose the bottles that go with their dolls and stuff. So this would be a replacement piece, probably a major bread and butter, but definitely something to think about. Now, when I saw this, I was really, really excited because I was like, oh, old watches, cool. And then I realized that somebody has destroyed these old watches to make, um, what do they call this? Like steampunk? I'm guessing these were probably damaged anyway, but um, they can, I just don't know. I feel like it's really kind of, I, I'm going to figure out if I can clean this up. I think it's a cool piece. I think it will sell even if, um, maybe that's how it's supposed to look kind of tarnished, but that's what it looks like. Probably a handmade deal there and just a fun little, uh, fun little piece. All right. This is a, uh, a shoe. I think it is a bottle opener now that I'm looking at it don't know what this W stands for, but now that I know it's a bottle opener, I may be able to use um, either Google Lens or just type in high heel shoe bottle opener. All right, these little guys, um, this one is kind of dirty, so I'm going to see if I can clean it up, but they're, it's a mouse. I, I can't remember if these are live pets or for real. I think they're live pets, but these sell as replacements. I don't think they make them anymore. Not 100% sure on that, but definitely be on the lookout for those. 
I picked this up. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I thought like the design and if somebody makes jewelry, maybe somebody will buy this to uh, make a piece of jewelry. I believe it's just a steel plate, not steel plate, uh, silver plate, but it's, you know, it's got some wear there. So probably just a major bread and butter. And then I also found these just laying in a bin, which you guys know that I sell these all the time and I recognize them right away. They are um, replacements for Calico Critters House and um, they're the windows. So found a few of those. I think there's a couple more in the bag. This, I'm not sure what this is. Um, it says uh, Tech Deck, but the Tech Decks that I'm familiar with are much bigger. These are just uh, little mini figures and they're kind of, let me, hold on a second. Let me get it out of here for you. All right, you can see here, they're much smaller and they're kind of like neon colors. So definitely gonna have to do my research on that. I'll probably bundle this in a lot. This is some sort of maybe play set and there's some figures in there. So I did grab that. You guys know I love toys. This all came in a, um, in this Ziploc bag as seen camera connection kit uh, it looks like they're apple products probably going to be some bread and butter here but um it's actually in there and this piece and then i'm not sure what this piece is so i'm gonna have to do some research on those but likely should be able to make some money on that this is a it says vinegar so i have no idea what that is it's some sort of uh maybe a bad buy i don't know we'll see this guy no clue just oh i think he too did another fun little toy have to look it up this here uh, i it's not complete but i do have some of it it's a uh, leap builders safari animals i'm gonna have to probably sell it as replacement parts not sure how that's gonna do but figured i would try it We've got this elephant, not sure what he is from. It says RFC. I feel like I've sold these before. All right, here's another one of the, another window. I always pick up the PJ masks. Um, I've got a lot of smalls in here. This is a little bit bigger. I believe this is Sophia the first. Uh, it has a battery. I'm not sure what it does. So I'll have to figure that out. I did pick up these, I don't know how to say it. It's a uh, soothing gel pads. I believe it's for breastfeeding, nursing. And I'm pretty sure it's new old stock in there. So I will make sure that it is not opened and I can probably uh, sell that. It'll probably be a bread and butter, but people are always looking for stuff like that. All right, we've got this uh, ornament and I just noticed something coming out of his head so it may be missing something so that might be a donator um spongebob i couldn't think of his name it's a stamp so we'll look that up it is dated 2005 so you know when stuff is older like that i did pick up some uh some of these just miscellaneous toys i'm going to lay them out here and as i list them i'm going to pop up the screenshots i just noticed this one's damaged so that one will probably just get donated. I don't know who this is. If anybody knows, let me know. I'm five years old today. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I can lot that with some other stuff. This is kind of cool. It's another, um, it's a like a, I guess you could call it a brooch or a pin. And it's got this little beaded uh, character on it. Kind of cool. This is a timer, learning resources, some sort of timer. Have to figure out how that works. All right, now I've got a Sky from Paw Patrol. I do pick up the figures. A lot of times I get the vehicles at um, garage sales and stuff and they do not have uh, the actual figures that go with them or I can lot them up in small lots. She's got some damage to her just, you know, from being played with, but may still be able to get a little bit from her. Here's another SpongeBob. Um, I don't know who this guy is, but he has an on and off switch. So we'll have to figure out what he does and if he's got any value. When I'm at the bins, I dig at the bottom of the bins for these small toys like this. Here is a Shrek. 
I typically stay away from the McDonald's toys unless they're old. I don't see any markings on that. Maybe Google Lens will find that. <gasps> Look what I found. I found my rabbit's foot chain. Yay. So I'll sell the rabbit's feet separately. Here's another princess. Now this is a vintage, let's move this stuff out of the way here a vintage bottle nipple. And some of the vintage bottle nipples can do really good. This one is still sealed. So I thought that was kind of cool and it probably weighs less than an ounce. No clue here is baby bottles. So you saw that I picked up the little baby bottle nipple and it was sealed in the original packaging and it was vintage. And I know that these do well. I've sold them before. And I just picked up over the weekend a glass vintage baby bottle with a lid. So I'm excited to see what that'll sell for. It's probably going to be a bread and butter, but you just never know. For example, look at these Playtex vintage baby bottles right here. Sold for $91. Um, $76. Look at these, $59.94. Here's some glass ones. So just something to think about. It's one of those things that you, they may be off your radar or something that you've never really considered um, sourcing. So who this guy is, I do pick up weapons and stuff like this. And I'm thinking I'm just going to keep saving them and maybe put them in a lot unless I can figure out what they go with. Here's another, that horse goes with that cow. Here's another one. Not really certain what those are. Uh, this uh, is a Smurf. I'm looking at this now and it looks like somebody, I, I don't know what's going on there. We'll have to do a little research on that. But some of those vintage Smurfs can do really, really well. This guy, not sure what he goes to. Probably a play set. There is some writing on the back, so I will try to look him up. I think these are Roblox. And I got a whole bunch of body parts here. And I just kept throwing them in my cart. This one I believe is Minecraft and this is Minecraft. Um, I don't know who this is. So lots of research gonna be for this video. It looks like it's a Santa Roblox set here. We've got the gingerbread man. I may be selling it for parts because they're missing parts, but I just found the elves. I was just digging in the bin, pulling out any parts and pieces that I could possibly find to try to make sets when I when I got home. I don't know if this is a McDonald's toy or what. It kind of looks like it now that I'm looking at it, but maybe not. I'll use Google Lens to figure that out. Don't know what this is. Small toys, I can at the very least lot them up. I, that has a little toy inside of it. Uh, that's an LPS. Be careful with these. They do make knockoffs. Here's a duck that kind of looks like that set right there. Here's, we got another snowman. Here's some legs. There's my reindeer's legs. So that's exciting. No clue what this is. Another LPS. All right, I found this family reunion, Walt Disney World, uh, another pin, Incredibles. Not sure what that is. It kind of looks like it goes with this. It's the same color scheme there. Another LPS. Winnie the Pooh, Disney China. And this one has writing on the bottom there. I don't know if it's legit or not. The tail is broken too. So this guy, I don't know who he is, but all right, we're getting to the end here. We've got another, I think that's, I don't know what that is. We got this Pokemon, I think it's a card holder and one single Pokemon card. <laughs> Here's another Roblox, I think. I think it's Roblox, don't quote me on that. This little girl. And another Roblox and the head of something. And I think that's it for, this guy or more hair that's it for this haul so um everything dollar 79 a pound um so not much not much weight here that's what it is that's my haul so how do you guys think i did let me know in the comment all right so the blue box what do you guys think's in it this is from sitting in my light box um 
I saw this in the bins and like I said, I lost all my footage of that day. So this is what you're gonna see. I picked this up and I, I did one of these and I was like, oh my goodness. It is a baby's first Christmas, but looky here. See that right down there? One ounce of 0.999 fine silver. This was sitting in one of the bins that had been sitting and was completely picked over. I'm guessing people opened this, thought it was just like a Christmas ornament or just something. Um, they obviously didn't think it was silver because uh, it got left behind. So I am super, super excited about this find. This one ounce, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, it's a one ounce 0.99 fine silver coin. Mine, I believe, is a 2004 birthday coin. But what I want to show you here is if you find some of the ones that are collectible, they're going to be valued at more than one ounce of silver. Um, again, this is better than 925. This is 0.999. So this one's a Superman. I can't see what the best offer is, but you get you get the idea. They're selling for more. This one's Bill Murray. Uh, Goofy Disney. So that's a Disney uh, coin. And I did put uh, birthday in the title. So this one sold for 65. It's a American Silver Eagle birthday. And I'm just going to kind of scroll through here. And you can kind of see by weight. Oh, I can't remember what my husband said. I'm going to say, I'm not going to say, but I think it was under 50 bucks. Maybe even under 40 by weight. So it's really going to vary depending on the price of silver at the time. Uh, I am giving this to my husband, as I stated, so he'll hang on to this. This one here is um, got a Disney character on it. Mine is not super, super collectible. I know I saw one that sold. I want to say it sold in the $40 range. I'm kind of looking here, and it may have um, expired because I'm not seeing it. Let me go up here, and you could also type in uh, Christmas. And let's see if there's, so again, Walt Disney, anything Disney is going to do better. Um, that one's a Trump. Snoopy. So something to be on the lookout for. Again, this was just sitting in a picked over bin. Uh, let me see if I can find a 2004 birthday because I know that I looked it up. And it didn't, it wasn't like a crazy amount. Let me see if there's any actives. And if you guys do not know, um, eBay did some crazy thing where you have to now, when you're searching solds, you have to go over to the side panel and you have to click buying format if you want to switch it. And if you want to see the sold listings, you have to click here and click sold. Um, you have to open up this area. I was looking for it today and I was like, oh my goodness, where is it? So that's where it's at in case you're wondering. Okay, so keep an eye out for vintage baby bottles. A lot of them are going to be major bread and butter. So just warning you, they're not all big money. That's like with anything that you see that's big money. There's going to be big money bolos and there's going to be bread and butter in every category. So definitely do your research. I like to show you guys the bigger money items so that if you see them, you're like, yes, but there's still money that can be made in bread and butter items. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.